Hi guys, this is Sean1604 uh, coming at you with a tutorial on how to encode game videos at high quality. Um, hopefully, if when you're done, you're going to get something that looks sort of like this. So, as you can see, full screen and resolution is great rather than a small, crappy one. Um, the programs we're going to be using are going to use a quick run through. It's Fraps, obviously, to record the game video, Virtual Dub to put the AVIs together. X twenty four codec, X two six four codec, sorry, and how to install Lame MP three, or you can just get the Lame MP three codec from the internet. I'll put all those links up on the um, YouTube video. I um, have to give a shout out to Espresso Jim, who's the one that came up with the tutorial. Um, I'm just running through basically the video to show guys how to do it easier. Um, now, Virtual Dub when you install, well, when you extract the zip file, will give you all these stuff. Um, that's the one you want to be looking for there, virtualdub.exe, which will open up Virtual Dub. Um, Fraps, obviously, if you don't know how to use it, it's this. Um, I have it on full size, 30 FPS, and to detect the best sound input to, to basically whatever you hear will be recorded along with it. If you want to talk over the top of it, you can use the one's input, and you can also use that will be your headset, then you can talk over the top of the video. So once you do that, you should exit perhaps obviously and you should end up with some temp files like this now they're all 4 gigabyte chunks I renamed them all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 just makes it easier to use um, you can end up with 13 or something depending on how much um, how big the video file is so we're going to go ahead and go into virtual dub here where did I put it There's a, and open up the first file so what we do is find it first would be good So we open up the first one and that opens up in virtual dub and then you go to append AVI segment which just adds that one, adds the next segment onto this one. Make sure this down the bottom set ticked, don't auto detect uh, additional segments by firmly, make sure that's ticked so that it puts them all together basically in a sequence. So we'll do that one in 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So just double click that and then that's all your video files there. Put it together. So the first we're going to do is two passes with the X264 encoder. So I have a workflow that um, Expresso Jim put up um, on GameReplays.org um, um, on the COH section under um, Audio Commentaries and Shoutcasts. There's a workflow in here that if you want to use it. Um, in the first page, all you do is use a workflow in this virtual dub is go to load processing settings, um, find where you've stored it, it's a VCF file, find out where you obviously downloaded it, you put it up on file front. Just double click on that and it'll open up in here and that'll load the settings up for the first pass. The settings for the first pass is to set this to fast recompress for the video. For the audio, you basically want to turn the audio off for the first pass because you don't need it. Um, for the compression, obviously you want to make sure you've installed the X264 in codec probably, properly and it should appear, appear there. If it has, then good. Um, go in here and set that, the, the pass to multipass, first pass to fast, and then go into here and set that to 5 max frame refs. <coughs> um, everything else you can check in the video, pause it, um, but they're all pretty much left the same. And then hit OK and OK again. So that's you set up your first job. So Virtual Dub, what it does is sets up jobs. Um, so you can do more than one thing at once. You can do the, both the passes. So um, to set up the first pass, like for this one, all you would do is save it under first pass or something like that. Um, and I will save it in here. Do, 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 do. I have my window open, it's a nice day in Scotland, so you probably hear outside background noise. So just save it's first pass or first pass AVI or first pass dot AVI or whatever. Doesn't matter, you that won't be your final file name. Make sure that is ticked. Don't run this job now, add it to the job control, make sure that is ticked. Um, and then hit save. Nothing will happen because it's not actually doing anything yet. So for your first second for your second pass what you do is load the processing settings again, use the second pass. Basically, I'll again, I'll go through the, what it does. It changes that to that, so you can do this manually. Obviously, it's not too hard. Change it from fast where you can press the full press, full pros processing mode. For the audio this time, you are going to want to compress the audio, so make sure it's set to stream one, which is your um, audio from your in-game. For the compression, you're going to want that lame MP3 codec that I was talking about um, installed. If it's installed again, it will appear here. Um, 128k PPS, which is a good middle ground. You don't want to go too high. You don't want to go too low. Hit OK. That's your setup for your second pass. All the other um, compression settings, the only compression settings that change for the video is this multi pass changes from first pass to nth pass. That's the only thing that changes. Your bit rate's totally up to you. 
I have it on 1200, it look, makes the video look good. All these settings should pretty much stay the same, like I say. You can, again, you can pause the video if you don't believe me. Hit OK again, hit OK, that's your second pass set up. So what you do is save as AVI, change the file name to whatever you want it to be. So that was mine here for this particular video, I've already done it. Um, it didn't actually take too long for me to do. Um, it only took me about an hour and a half because this video wasn't um, too long. So in my, another video I did yesterday took about three hours, so it just depends on how much uh, processing time you want to dedicate to doing it. But the quality is so much better. Again, make sure that's checked. Don't run this job now, do it in the job control so you can do it in batch mode. Um, hit save, again nothing will happen. Um, yeah, like I said, I've got quad core with 4 gig of RAM, so it just depends on how much you want to add to do this, but the video quality is so much better. So to actually run the two processes together, all you do is go into job control, and then there uh, you can see them. So that was one I did the other day that took about three hours, that was the one I did today, so it took half an hour for the first pass and just under 45 minutes for the second one. So that's pretty good actually. Um, this is, it's just, I just set it up again just to show you. Um, and all you, all you do is hit start and then that would be it going. Um, like I say, um, I'm not going to do that obviously because there's no point, it would take too long. Um, but you should visit the site, go into GR. Um, these are all the things that you need. I'll post all these uh, links up with the YouTube video. Um, the reason I'm rushing this YouTube video is I did it earlier and I went through a lot quick, uh, a lot longer stuff and it, it was over 10 minutes just. So I thought, why not just do it quicker? So yeah, um, hope this helped you out.